What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So let's create or modify the side panels of our bookcase. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to create a subcategories that we will be using when we assign the material for each part of our bookcase family. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is let's go to the project browser. Let's open up our top view or the ref level. And then I'm going to select the side panels here. So this is the one that I would like to modify. So maybe I'm going to open the tile views here or click the tile views tool so that I can I can also see here the 3D model. Okay. Okay. So here on my uh, ref level, so I'm going to select the side panel. And then from the mode panel, I'm going to select your edit extrusion. Okay. So let's click that one. And then after that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this line here and then I'm going to delete that, okay? Because I would like to uh, modify the side panel. So instead of straight, I'm going to make that uh, arc, arc shape, okay? So from the draw panel, I'm going to select start and radius arc. So let's click that one and then let's click one of the endpoint. And then the other endpoint here. Let's click that. And then so let's pick the point to place the arc. And then let's modify here the radius of our arc. So let's click that. So instead of this value, I'm going to make this. So let's say uh, 2 feet. 2 feet. Enter. And there you go. And then I'm going to select here modify. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select this arc. And then from the instance properties, I'm going to check here the center mark visible. So I want to see or show the center mark of my arc, which is uh, this one here. Okay, so I'm going to use this center mark to place dimension. So I'm going to select here the align dimension. I'm going to select the reference plane here, the left reference plane, and then the center mark. And then I'm going to place it here. Okay, so now what's the purpose of this? So this dimension ensures that the arc center will stay at fixed distance from the reference plane. Okay, just to tidy up our model here and just to make sure it's always uh, on the size, correct size and proportional. Okay, then I'm going to do that also to the other side here. So I'm going to select that line, delete. And then I'll just mirror this. So let's click this. Use the mirror tool, mirror peak axis. The shortcut is the shortcut is MM. And then let's click this reference plane here as our mirror line to mirror that to the other side. Okay. And then same procedure. Let's put the dimension here. So let's click the right reference plane and then the center mark. Then let's click here. There you go. And then select your modify. And then after that, just select your finish. So that's it. Okay, so that's how we modify the side of our uh, uh, panels. Okay, so this is now how it looks like in the 3D model. Okay, so it's working fine even if you check that, even if you change this type here to 60. There you go. Change to 36, 12, 36 apply okay so it's working just fine right okay now the next thing that we are going to do i'm gonna make sure my 3d view here is uh open up so i'm going to apply some categories to my uh, geometry so like for example so these are my uh, panels here and then this is the top and then this is my uh, uh base plate so we are going to create subcategories. Okay, so how to create subcategories? Okay, so to create our subcategories, all you have to do is to go to your uh, Manage tab. And then from the Settings panel, so you can see here Object Styles. Okay, so just click the Object Styles. And then from the Object Styles dialog box, so as you can see, we already have here the category Furniture. 
So we can create a subcategory here. So currently we already have two subcategories. Okay, so we are going to create uh, several categories here. So I'm going to select new uh, of under the subcategory of uh, furniture. So the name first is base. We created this, uh, this geometry. So I'm going to apply that later on. And then let's create another one. So this will going to be the door. So later on, we are going to create the door of our uh, model. And then I also want to include the panels. And then new, what else? Top. Okay. All right. So that's it. So basically, what else that we need to uh, create here? So we also need to create, so we already have panels, top, door, base, shelves. Okay, so let's create the subcategory shelves. So new, shelves. So later on, again, we are going to create the shelves alongside with the door. Okay, so let's select here. Okay. All right, so we will be doing the subcategories for us to be able to specifically assign the material for each category on our uh, future videos for this um, series of exercise for the bookcase family okay so i'll just select here okay first and then the next thing that i'm gonna do is to apply that to our model so to apply that so let's say these are my panels so i'm gonna click this hold control to select the side panel as well and then here from the properties you can see the subcategory so there's it's none so you can click the drop down and there you go so i'm gonna apply or assign those sides to the panels Okay, and then this one is top. Click that. That's our top. And then this is our base. Click subcategory base. And like what I've said, later on, we will be creating the door and shelves geometry for our uh, model here. Okay, so basically that's how you uh, modify the side panels and also that's how you create your uh, subcategories okay so again hopefully you learn something from uh, this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day